Hey, what's up guys? It's Matt, back for another video. This one I think might be a little controversial, but I had a lot of videos planned before I left school and then, you know, this coronavirus situation happened, came back and just had nothing. So I decided to go back to my roots and do a music related video. So by now you've probably read the title and you know that I'm gonna be trying to convince you that Blade is a good artist. Now, I run a couple risks when I'm doing it. The first one is this, and the second one is this. I definitely acknowledge that I am both the demographic that would have this opinion and also have the audacity to make a YouTube video about it. So leave those comments, don't worry. I'm fully self-aware and I will take them in stride. If you don't know who Blade is, he's a pretty controversial cloud rap artist from Sweden. And when I say controversial, I don't mean in the like, this this kind of way. The thing with Blade is it's just kind of a love or hate type of thing. There are people that love Blade and swear by everything he does, and some people that think that he is the epitome of artistic trash and should be thrown in the garbage immediately. Clearly, I think you know which side of the aisle I stand on, but mostly this is just gonna be addressing some of the things people don't like, listening to some of the music, and just having a good time. So this? Oh, it's it's called Blaze. Be nice to me. Oh, I I got it. I got it. Oh! No, no, what you're saying? What you know? Before we get into it, we gotta address the obvious question: Is there such a thing as objectively good music? No. Mm -hmm. However, I think that there are a few things that I can go through and try to prove to you that Blade is good. Like I said, Blade is a rapper from Sweden. He's part of the group Drain Gang, which he's, he's Drain Gang CEO. Drain Gang consists of other artists Echo2K and Tyboy Digital and producers White Armor and Young. They're like a Young Lean Sad Boys affiliated group, but not technically the same group. Gotta get the lore right. And basically he's known for spacey beats, vocals that are just completely drenched in auto-tune and, and really creating like a vibe. I've been listening to Blade since about 2014, so I'm not as early as you could be. Some people were really on that 2012 uh, SoundCloud game, but I've been listening to Blade for a while. And if you've ever come in contact with either him or Young Lean's music, it was probably in the same way. You heard Kyoto or you heard Hurt and you saw this. And we la I mean, we laughed, we all laughed. But as I started to listen to the music more, completely as a meme, I started to actually unironically enjoy it. And now the more that I've listened to it, I think there are some genuinely good qualities. And for what it is, I think it's good. So if I'm gonna convince you that Blade has good music, I'm gonna have to take into account some of the criticisms of his work. The first one is his vocals, which are completely washed out in auto-tune and just you can't distinguish that it's a human singing them, which is true, but I'm gonna kind of use the T-Pain argument and say that if it's used tastefully, then it can sound really good on a song. The second one are his lyrics, which most people say are vapid and just completely void of any meaning. And the third is people saying that the production carries all of his songs that it's completely overproduced and that it just sounds ridiculous. I'm gonna try to address these things and show why I like Blade. But anyway, let's just have a good time and let's listen to some Dream Game. So if you're a casual listener and you look up Blade after seeing this video, you'll probably come across his 2018 album, Red Light, which right off the bat, the first song I think has three of the reasons why I think Blade is good. Okay, so right off the bat, we got three things. First of all, that beat, oh my god, oh my god, it's beautiful. We got this crazy synth coming in, the pads, the little... It's just, it's amazing. It's so full. It's just so like... You feel it in your soul when that bass first comes in before it drops. You just you're, you're like feeling like you're ascending, and it's also just well produced. Like it's not just like a, a loop or whatever. It's like you can tell that these were built since they made out the melodies. It's a catchy melody, so before you even have the lyrics on top, you're already you got that, and it's stuck in your head already. And you can you can say that he's kind of saying nothing in, in his songs, and that's true. But the lines that he says are just so quotable and so catchy that I just I can't not love them. Still in the night, I should be knighted. You pay the member fee, but you're still not invited. I get the feeling that you're brain dead. They said I should have stayed dead, but the spotlight I created. 
Then later in the song, there's like this Brock Hampton move where they say DG, the new One Direction, which literally try to listen to this song and I'll just quote that every time he says it. Alright, and then I mean, come on, this is amazing. about this production. It just completely knows when to cut out and let Blade do the singing. The chord changes during the bridge, the beat drops that come in and out depending on what Blade's saying. It's clearly detailed, like actually meticulously done music, which is why I say that it's like literally good. Like I know it's stupid and I know it's like kind of just a meme to listen to, but like there's effort put in right? and I feel like it's good. Okay, so another song I'm gonna check out off Red Light is the closing track called I'm Goofy. One of the criticisms that I brought up is everyone saying, oh, this production, it's just overproduced garbage, it's just washed out, it's all these crazy kooky synths. And I'm gonna go back to what I said earlier. I think that the auto-tune fits in with the fact that it's all synths, and if it was just his voice, it would kind of sound weird. He almost sounds like another instrument, but he's saying all these quotable lines. And I think this song, I'm Goofy, as goofy of a title as that is, really shows it because he's got these three different flows on it, these really catchy melodies, and it just sounds great. So let's take a listen. Also notice that that guitar instead of the synth, it sounds so good over everything. It's just so nice. Like, bro, listen to how much is going on. There's the guitar, there's the two synth melodies in harmony, there's the bass, there's the drums, there's Blade singing over it. I know it sounds like I'm listing off the qualifications that make something a song, but I swear, if you actually listen to it, it's, it's just so detailed, it's so good. You should call me. Okay, then this fade. They're really making a song, it's not just a loop and he's singing over it. Like, bro, it's legitimately so good, and I probably just sound like a crazy person, but I, I literally think it's amazing. Okay, so if you've made it this far, you're probably on board, and then the thing is, I, I was on board as well, and then I, I went back, and I'm gonna be honest, some of this old Blade I think is a little bit less less accessible, but I think it still carries some of the great qualities from before. So I'm going to Ever Since, which is his most critically acclaimed album. Most people think this is at least like pretty good. And I'm going to go again to the first song, Who Goes There, because I think it just sets, sets a great tone. And this is what I'm talking about again with like the actual good production and layered singing. Like, I think that the people that say it's bad, it's, it's like, I get it, you know, like I totally get it. It's like this dreamy quality, but I feel like the music is so meticulously made that I'm like, it, it's completely on purpose that it sounds like that. So I feel like you can say you don't like it, but I don't know if it's it's bad. I just feel like this atmosphere that it sets up is so crazy. And also, like those effects, it's so good. Like, it just knows what it's trying to be. Alright, so the last song that I'm going to touch on, touch on is um, in Blade's most recent project, Exeter, which I think is probably one of his weakest just because 
You know how I was talking about how the, the vapid lyrics, like at least they were quotable. This, this man really says merry-go-round for three minutes. And I think the beat is crazy, but he's not really doing anything on it. But the reason why I want to bring this up is because Drain Gang, Sad Boys, everyone now is another three years ahead, I think, in, in front of everyone. Putting these crazy psychedelic touches into their trap music. Also stripping back kind of like these ideals of masculinity and stuff in their visual art. It's just crazy. So we're gonna listen to it and I'll show you how this sound is progressing, even though it still has these same core tenants, like the auto-tune, the, the crazy beats with all the synthesizers and everything, but they're growing as artists and I just think that's a sign of someone that's, that's, that's great. That makes sense. Okay, so this is one of my favorite songs on this project. And I think this is a great showing of how he can just find pockets in these beats. <laughs> like, bro! And listen, that synth, that, that synth creepy one. Like, these are weird harmonies going on. It's so good. It's, it honestly reminds me of 100 Gex a bit in the way that it can just kind of sit in these really simplistic but catchy beats. My favorite song on this album is definitely DNA Rain, and this last thing I'll touch on, Blade and his producers really know how to create moments in their songs. Like, it just brings it to this crazy emotional head, even if he's not really doing that much more in the vocals. You can listen to the beat, the beat cut out here, right? Listen to how this comes in. It's literally amazing. All right, now I probably haven't convinced you of anything and I've made myself look like a fool, but the last thing I'm gonna to touch on before this video ends is all of Drang Gang's visuals. Kind of like a Kanye in a way, where if you don't understand like the visual and the aesthetic that's going along with the songs, you kind of don't get it. Which you could say that means the music is bad if it needs to stand on an aesthetic, but I think that the music itself is good and then the aesthetic enhances it. Like it's really this crazy, again, super ahead of its time, visual style of using bad looking stuff to be good. For example, one of my favorite Blade songs is with Young Lean and it's Gotham City. And this video is literally terrible. It's like iPhone 5 footage and Windows Movie Maker text effects and just all this stuff, but it sounds so perfect to just this crazy, drugged out, insane sound that they have going. It's like so subversively lazy until you kind of realize like how much detail has to be put into creating this entire aesthetic. Anyway guys, this video was probably a goof, but I wanted to get it out there. And if you guys enjoyed, I'd love to do it for either more members of the Drain Gang or maybe for other artists that I think are underrated or misunderstood. Let me know if you'd want to see that. And anyway, go bully me in the comments. I'll see you next time.